Hello and welcome, my name's Glorious Badger. On today's video, we'll be continuing on with the painting of the Necron Overlord. We'll be working on the metal parts. As you can see, we've got the Vallejo metal color steel. Just to warn you, there is a part of this video where something will be painted that we have not covered yet. And that will be covered in next week's video. Uh, it was an error of recording order. And uh, I do apologize, but uh, these things do happen occasionally. So we shall paint this metal part of this blade right now. I don't entirely know what you'd call this sort of uh, choppy we weapon. <laughs> but we shall get both sides painted. I'm just looking at this miniature as I am doing the voiceover, wondering which bits we will do next, no doubt. I shall be painting them. Um, I suspect, oh yes, that bit right there. Some cables, I would have thought, the joints here and there. Uh, any limbs which are exposed, any sort of those sorts of things. Okay, so we are into some fast-forwarded footage. I'm going to start chopping out excess fast-forwarded footage because... I don't think it's helping. Um, do let me know if you're missing out on, if you'd prefer to see the fast forwarded, all of the fast forwarded footage, I should say, rather than just, uh... oh, there we go. We're going to get some of the cables. Well done. So we've got the cables. Uh, we've got getting both sides of it. This paint is very fluid. So it's v do make sure that you do not overload the brush because it will run everywhere if uh, you allow it to. So we're going to get those cables there. I'm not entirely sure if we're doing that entire forearm, the right forearm. Um, no doubt we shall see. Uh, okay, so we've got... This is the base color. Um, you will see what else we get up to as well. Make sure to get some paint on that spine. Get the little, it's gonna require a smaller brush, which is why I only just painted the sort of larger flat surfaces pointing outwards. Uh, we'll get a smaller brush hopefully and get the rest of that spine. Getting the kneecaps or the knee joints, I should say. Uh, getting the backs of the legs. Getting the lower lower legs. Ah, there we go. Getting the spinal column. There's that smaller brush I was talking about. It's absolutely horrific. That brush now is pretty horrific then, but it's even more horrific now. As you can see, this is where we got to. You can see the hip joints, the knee joints, the lower legs, the forearms, around the shoulders, the spinal column and the weapon, all and the cables got picked up in steel. So we've got uh, scale color, Viking gold, dark star royal gold, and dark star classic gold. These are the colors that we are going to use to do the gold parts. Starting off on the dangly bits with that first color. I'm really not too fond of painting gold. I need to, maybe it's the recipe that I'm currently using. I might need to continue to work on trying to find the, a recipe that I really enjoy painting when it comes to gold. I've never really truly enjoyed it. Um... However, sometimes it has to be done. So, I'm going to get the sides of these things here. This is going to be the base color. The other colors are going to be use, used for further highlights. Really see the quality of that brush right there. It's all, all 
the bristles are coming apart. It's absolutely horrific. I hate, I do not use fancy brushes to paint metal. So I just have to find the nearest thing that will make do. Getting that bit of gold across his chest. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Some sort of uh, pendant. There's some more gold between his legs. Lovely jubbly. I'll get the reverse side of that thing. I think I am going to paint his right forearm. Partially with some gold. I'm trying to remember. Oh, hello. There we go. I knew some part of it was going to go gold. I didn't know how much. So we will get that thing. It's important to remember these are all base coats. So getting a, a decent coverage is the important thing, even if it requires two or three coats. There we go. That is all the gold required. Just hitting a couple of areas again that didn't look quite right. Oh, and we're going to do this bit right up here as well. Lovely jubbly. Very, very spangly. So we're looking at this. We've got the base coats down. I'm wondering what else we need to do at this point. I, I'm looking at the... I'm going to break out the royal gold. Oh, okay. So we're going to do start doing the highlights for some of this stuff. Now, bear in mind, we will be doing an oil wash later. So we're not going to be doing uh, gold shading now. We're going to do the highlights. We'll start working on the highlights, at least. Picking out the brighter bits, leaving the darker bits in the recesses. As you can see, that brush is top quality. Going to get any bits of the golden parts, which are sort of facing upwards or might catch a tiny bit of bounce highlight from somewhere. I'm not going to stress about it too much. A lot of the details will appear later and a lot of the details will disappear later. So uh, it's one of those things. All right, here he is, looking rather spangly. Now, at this point, the video kind of froze. It was very strange. Um, but anyway, we're moving on to classic gold. You didn't miss anything right there. And then we've also got a bit of chrome for a sort of specular highlight on that gold. And a big thumbs up from myself. Well done. Well done indeed. Okay, so we're going to be doing even smaller spots with that classic gold. On the upper surfaces, anywhere the light might catch, or we want a brighter sort of light. So getting some of those edges there. Any of the edges which are sort of facing down towards the ground, we're not going to hit with this color. Because those lights are not going to be very... The bounce light is not going to be that bright. Just working on the upper surfaces. Getting that top bit of the arm right there, making it brighter. Getting some of the gold around the chest. Lovely jubbly. Some of the staff. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And getting some of the bits right here. I don't think we'll do specular highlights on the reverse of that, but we shall see shortly. Getting some more of that stuff there between the legs Just trying to brighten it up a little bit all right we didn't have any frozen footage here which is a bonus <laughs> okay and we have moved on to the chrome which is a very bright color as you can see right there we when we put it on this is going to be a sort of simulated uh, specular highlight or the brightest highlight the glint that the sun might catch off the golden parts, if you will. So we're not going to use huge amounts of it. But hopefully just enough to be picked up. 
apparently we are going to put a bit of specular highlight on the backside of that metal stuff uh, between the legs. I think that was probably a mistake on my part. I, If I was going to paint it again, I don't think I would do that. However, at the time, I thought it must be done. I'm going to use some of that chrome to get the edges of the steel weapon. We added a bit of a broad stroke right there as well. And as you can see, the cables and the staff have magically sort of gone uh, green. Various shades of green. We will be doing that in the next video. I do apologize. I kind of got things out of order when I was recording. And, uh, well, hiccups. Hiccups were ha happened. So getting some of the upper surfaces of the cables right there with this brighter metallic paint. I am doing this because I'm I'm knowing that we are going to be doing an oil wash later and that will darken everything down a little bit. So that is why I can afford to go quite a bit brighter than I might normally. All right. I'm liking how that's looking at the moment. Yeah, that brush is horrific. I can only apologize. In fact, in fact, in fact, I think I've made an error of judgment. This is now the chrome. We're doing the much smaller highlights now. Yeah, this is the chrome highlights. As you can see, the band the band of uh, color is a lot is a lot narrower. I'm trying to refine that shine down a little bit more. Just getting the edges of the blade. Any narrower bits? There we go. As you can see, yeah, that glowing green cable on the stomach. All right. Looking better. Looking much, much better. Yep. Oh, slow motion. What do we got here? We have got scale color uh, necrotic. No, decayed metal, excuse me. We have got uh, brassy brass or brassy brass. We've also got bright bronze. We are going to start off with the decayed metal. There are lots of little chips and divots on the armor, so we're going to start picking those details out. As you can see right there. We're using the finest dodgy brush that I have. get these details picked out we're going to highlight up to we're going to go through the brassy brass and end up with the bright bronze eventually not going this stage won't this stage shouldn't take too long however trying to find all the details can be can be a bit of an issue. I know I've missed some uh, here and there at some point and had to go back later on to get the details. Getting some of those scratches on the shoulder blades, some of the deep, deeper divots there, making sure we get everywhere on the legs, the hips, thighs, lower back bit. Pretty much all of the stuff. We can add we can always add more scratches in rather than just paying attention to the sculpted ones we can always add, add more in later as well if you want to go for a more battle damaged necron but i believe that that is probably just enough i don't think i add any excess all right here's brassy brass or oh, brassy brass we are gonna stay within the color that we painted before we're not going to go wild with this so we're going to be painting even a smaller area hopefully within the previous color sometimes i'm sure we will fill the entire space but uh, i think my plan at this point was 
to paint a slightly smaller section of the previous color before moving on to the next color. This kind of weathering I do on multiple miniatures. You could check out my Imperial Fist video. I'll have a card appear, hopefully, if I remember. All right. There we go, bright bronze. So this is going to be the final highlight of these little scratches and things. I, thinking back back to it, I don't think I needed to do what was essentially a base tone, mid tone, and a highlight for this. Bearing in mind, I will we will be going doing an oil wash after this. I think this is probably a mistake. I think we could have just done the base color and then done the oil wash, and then done a little bit of a highlight in any bits that were shining through afterwards. I think this is probably wasting a bit of time. However, uh, mileage may vary. I mean, at this point, one doesn't have to do the oil wash, basically. One could just leave it at this. You could, uh, you could go back and refine some of the, some of the armor panels. Could probably be redefined. Uh, and then do this sort of weathering after that fact, and that would be perfect. But I don't do huge amounts of edge highlighting, or at least I certainly didn't on this miniature. When I do commission painting, I will do edge highlighting. Uh, but for myself, I don't. Yeah, I don't always bother with it. It's not my favourite thing to do. Getting those final highlights in to that weathering, I am pretty happy with the state of things right now. Folks, if you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you so much. Um, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Glorious Badger. I do have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Glorious Badger. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, both Glorious Badger on those sites. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am going to, I am desperately trying to improve my videos. The, um, Maybe the state of the voiceover needs work. However, uh, I the editing itself, that is definitely a mission as well. But I would I would love it if you could uh, drop a comment below. So tell me, uh, suggest some ideas what you would like to see painted. We've got a lot of Horus Heresy stuff on the way. But we do have a couple more parts to this video. So hopefully next week and the following week. Thank you and goodbye.